Hey everyone, thanks for watching. In today's video, I will be showing y'all how to make this DIY rope Dollar Tree basket. As usual, we will first start with everything that you need to make it. First up, you will need a basket, which I got right at the Dollar Tree. Some rope, they also sell this at the Dollar Tree, but it's actually cheaper to get it from a hardware store because as you can see, you get a hundred feet, whereas at the Dollar Tree, I believe it's only a foot, and the hundred foot rope was only eight dollars. Next up, you will need some hot glue. I recommend getting a few packs of hot glue sticks from the Dollar Tree because you do end up using a lot. You will also need some type of sheet or something like that. I know the Dollar Tree sells tablecloths and shirts and things like that. And this is optional, but you can also grab some paint to paint the rope. They don't sell paint at the Dollar Tree, but it is cheaper at Michael's anyway. It's only 70 cents and it does come with a bunch of different colors to choose from. The first thing I'm going to do is stick the sheet into the basket and then start wrapping it around the outside. It's a lot easier to put something inside the basket to hold the sheet down while you do this. But basically we just want to get it flat on the outside so that we can glue it down. As you can see I had to make a few cuts so that it would fit better. So that's what I'm doing here. I'm just kind of cutting it, folding it, hot gluing it down, just kind of rigging it into place so that we have something to glue the rope to and so that we have the nice sheet on the inside of the basket. So I'm basically just going to do this all around the outside. This part does not have to be done perfectly because once you glue your rope down, you won't even see it. Once you get it all as straight as possible around the perimeter of your basket, you want to start gluing it down to the bottom of the basket as well. So this is how it looks once I finished that step. Now I'm gonna go ahead and start gluing the rope onto the basket. This part did take a lot longer than I anticipated so I kind of just did it little by little throughout the week so definitely give yourself a lot of time to finish that part if you are making this for a gift or anything like that I ended up running out of the hundred feet of rope right at this point so I did end up having to go buy another rope I went ahead and trimmed the outside of the rope it did have a lot of long threads hanging out so I just went ahead and cut all that so that when I go to paint it it's a lot smoother of a surface to paint on once I got closer to the top as you can see I pushed the sheet upwards put the glue and then glued the rope right down to it you can leave it just like this, but I'm gonna go ahead and paint it. I kind of mapped out where I wanted the black and the white. I did use a couple different paint brushes, and then I just went ahead and mixed the two and added it to the middle. I just kind of went back and forth between the black and the white. Just play around with it until you get it how you like. This is how it looks once I was finished. I absolutely love how it came out. You can use it for blankets, toys, clothes, anything like that. It is a pretty large basket, so so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not already, and I'll see y'all in my next video. Bye guys.